What's up guys, it's Hubs, and this video today is not going to be a regular video with me playing Brave Frontier and doing content. This is more of a, um, just a kind of, you should protect your account kind of talk. And this is in light of some recent events where I've had friends, um, other high level players who have mistakenly and unknowingly compromised their accounts and have gotten suspended because they didn't realize that they were acquiring gems through illegitimate means. So, um, what happened was basically someone, you know, um, in one of the chats I was in was advertising that he was selling gems for an extremely discounted rate. So, for example, like, if I check the gem, the shop right now, and I, and I want to buy some gems, so I'm going to see gems cost me $64.99. Um, and after I do pay for them, you know, the iTunes store receipt will tell me, okay, now that's been transferred to your weird, colorful Canadian money, it cost me about $72 for 100 gems. And someone was offering basically to sell gems at an extremely discounted rate, about $150 for 500 gems. So if I, if I were to buy gems a normal way, $150 would buy me about 200 gems. So obviously, like, wow, that sounds like an amazing deal, amazing thing, like, you know, put me on board right away, but no, it's a scam. And a lot of these people offering these kind of services are trying to scam you. And what they do is basically you pay them and then you give them your player ID. They might even ask you for your Facebook username and password, which if that's not enough of a like flag to tell you, hey, stop, that's a scam then maybe you need to learn the lesson. I like I don't want to advocate that people should get scammed, but I mean it's really important to understand that Gumi will never offer like gems or any kind of services through other people that are not official. So if a friend that you met online tells you, "Hey, I can sell you gems at a discounted rate." and it's not through Gumi's store, the store I'm in right here that you can see in the video, then no, don't trust them. They're lying to you. Um, the only way you can legitimately buy gems is through a product from Gumi it's themselves. Like, you can't go to some random website uh, and pay and get a bunch of gems. It just doesn't work that way. Um, and this is something that I talked to the community representative for Gumi, and they said, you know, the only way you should be buying gems, you know, legitimately, is just through the application itself. I mean, there's no reason that you should be able to buy gems from some guy who just told you, hey, I can get you cheap gems, you know, don't worry about it. Um, it's just, I want to say it's common sense, but obviously it's not. And a lot of people in the past while have been posting like, hey, Oh, what happened to my account? I got suspended. I haven't done anything wrong. And the question you ask yourself is, well, have you, were you possibly scammed by someone who you trusted and you thought were, was providing you, you know, a service for cheap gems or whatever it is? Um, so again, I'm just going to say, don't trust people online. Like, uh, don't trust people trying to sell you a service online. You know, for example, like these guys who can sell you these cheap gems are giving it to you by like injecting them into your account or by using some sort of transaction on your account and then canceling the payment through the, their credit card. Um, and that's going to get your account suspended. If they're telling you, oh, hey, I can get you, you know, SPP 10 on a unit or I can get you Maxwell or something on your account. Don't risk it. It's not worth it. I mean, doesn't that ruin the game for you too? Like, don't you want to like get SPP 10 on a unit yourself? Don't you want to capture Maxwell yourself? So, I mean, I'm just putting this out there just because, you know, I had a friend who, you know, fell into one of these traps, fell into one of these scams, and right now her account suspended. So, I just want people to know, you know, like, this is a thing, you know. You might not realize it. It might be someone that you think you trust. You might even have, you know, met them. But, you know, some people are really just out there for the money. And, I mean, if it ever gets to the point where they're asking you for your player ID or your Facebook log information, um, 
if they're trying to convince you that it's legit, I mean, those are all big warning signs that it's not legit. And my personal advice to you is do what I do. When you need gems, you go to this page right here where it says buy gems. And you buy gems a legitimate way. I mean, is it worth it to pay, you know, $10 less and possibly lose your account? I don't think it is. So, you know, it's up to you guys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know. It's kind of a not really content video. It's just, you know, protect your account. You know, if you like Brave Frontier, you treasure your units that you spent all this time on, then protect your account. And I'll see you guys next time for a real video. Maybe I'll be evolving Elza. Maybe I'll be doing the Selena Vortex. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.